But also Steven Crowder. Speaking of Steven Crowder. Um. Whoa. Those black holes want to get me. Recently, Crowder did a rebuttal to John Oliver's episode of Medicare for All. And when I did my rebuttal video, which was, uh, you know, a couple days after, I, I wanted to get it out fast. I think it was the day after I, I had it uploaded. I, I did a whole rebuttal. But one of the points I tried to stress in my video was the how conservatives are failing on this issue. Ugh. No. Cool. All right, got my life back. Speaking of Medicare for all. See, if you want life, you got to pay for it, folks. Uh, I'm dead. He took me off guard. Anyway. Immediately. So, I'm just going to pause to make this point. So, Crowder talks, uh, does his big rebuttal video to John Oliver's Medicare for All video. And the first point he responds to was John Oliver's joke about, Oh, uh, Americans are born with this pre-existing condition called being poor. And Crowder's first response to that is, well, first of all, John Oliver, we have Medicaid in this country that helps out the poor who can't afford their health care. And then he goes on to debunk a few stats, which Crowder did do a good job, but he didn't make the moral argument against John Oliver. And he did what I said conservatives always do on this issue is they defend the status quo. He used Medicaid, a socialist wealth redistribution program, uh, to dunk on John Oliver's Medicare for All video. And this is why when Republicans took over the House, Senate, and Presidency in 2016, this is why they did not repeal Obamacare. And now it's here to stay, thanks to people who think like Steven Crowder. Right? So Steven Crowder uses Medicaid saying, oh, poor people, they have Medicaid. Oh, by the way, this is why socialized medicine is bad and why we shouldn't go for Medicare for All. What a goof. Like, how are you going to use Medicaid to then go on to say why, try to explain why socialized medicine is bad? 